are going to be installing these Killer B unequal length headers to these 2015 WRX to be giving it some rumble. So these Killer B unequal length headers will be changing out these equal length standard headers. It's pretty much, this is only a mod for rumble, not for power or anything, but we're going to have to get pretty much all the turbo out, which is in there, and the headers out, and we'll start swapping over onto that and fit that to the car. plates off we can see this a bit better so those two pipes there that's the extended exhaust header it's our turbo pulling that off with the turbo so we have to disconnect the dump pipe and the inlet to the turbo and pull all that out everything under here disconnected so it's pretty much just got to undo the bolts for the manifold to the head and pull this whole section out as you can see here I've clamped off the coolant lines that run to the turbo just so I don't get coolant constantly leaking out but yeah we'll just undo these nuts take it off from the head and we'll pull it all out <laughs> So we've got the old exhaust manifold and turbo out. So now it's start to bolt the turbo to this new manifold and fit it back into the car. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? All right, so that's the standard equal length manifold disconnected from the turbo. This is our new unequal length Killer B manifold, which we're going to put the turbo on now and put back in the car. I am aware that this is a performance decrease, but we are just chasing that Subaru Rumble, aren't we? Yep. Since it's your car and your decisions. <laughs> so here we go. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate apply in my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding dotted line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my feeling great. Got a day with destiny focusing on my fate. I don't give a what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. When it's in the fall, I can't go. I won't leave. Came from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like. So that's it. Turbo's fitted to the Killer B on equal length manifold. So now it is time to put it back into the car and see what rumble noises we can make.
So that's the Killer B unequal length headers installed on this FA20 WRX. Um, just for the exhaust, for what, so for when you hear the sound clips, it is the standard J-pipe with Subaru terms or dump pipe into just a resi delete and muffler delete. So that's why it sounds quite loud. But it's just all standard system basically, just mufflers and resi deleted. And we'll get off the hoist and do a sound clip. Well, that's the Killer B unequal length headers installed on the 2015 WRX. So this is a CVT model, which is why it probably sounds a bit different. To be honest, I was expecting a lot more rumble than that, but it's good enough and Beth's happy with it. So that's all that matters. So just thought I'd give an update of how the headers are going. So we just done a 400k round trip. So we've done 200 kilometers with the standard headers to the shed, change the headers, 200k straight back. And it used the exact same fuel economy. So it was 8.4 average going to the shed with the standard headers, 8.2 coming back, but it's probably because it's night and the air's a bit cooler. But um, drivability, CVT, you don't really notice the extra lag which everyone says you get, you sort of, you know it's there, so you look for it. So you do notice a little bit, but if someone just jumped in the car that didn't know and drove it, I don't reckon I'd notice the difference. This is a completely untuned car as well. So we'll see how it goes with a tune, but so far that's it. So overall pretty happy. Could have been a bit more of the Subaru noise that you get, but we had a bit from this FA20 and we're good with that.